off. Welcome to the 28th episode of the Brave News Channel. I am your host, Shali, and we're here with Risky. Hello. All right, and this is the show that's going to bring you all of the latest information for our awesome application, Brave Frontier Global, available to you guys for iOS, Android, Windows, and also Amazon. All, all sorts of platforms, because we're just that global. Like, <laughs> seriously global. And today we're going to share a lot of information with you guys that we uh -huh. have in store for the new year, mm -hmm. 2018. Hope you guys right. had some wonderful holidays, that you welcomed the year with lots of wonderful and inspiring and beautiful things. <laughs> <laughs> and Make wishes for the new year. Yes, yeah. yes, and we hope to be able to contribute to mm -hmm. all of that joy by bringing sure. all of this amazing content. So right. let's jump straight into the Brave updates. We have a new Omni Evolution, mm -hmm. and it is the lovely idea. I think this is the most requested Omni Evolution ever. It has to be ever. one of them. <laughs> it has to be one of them because, I mean, honestly, uh -huh. I was really surprised that she didn't come out sooner. Right. Like, right I think right. this is really late in the game to have her Omni coming out just mm -hmm. now. Idea is a rather important character in right. the Frontier lore and mm -hmm. a very beloved character. I mean, she's been around <laughs> since three stars were actually like. A thing, you know, like back then yeah. you pull this three star, the you were like, oh my god, I got oh. a rare. <laughs> right? So I'm just glad she's here. I'm glad she's here. And of course, this is uh, Idea. Had she, well, the last time that we saw Idea, she mm -hmm. actually had woken from her slumber because uh. she kind of got into the state where she sealed Cardes off, right? Mm -hmm. And then in Lavdrania, Lavdrania kind of like uh, put her in this like deep armor. sleep. Right. And then her friends come, you know, the four heroes of Palmona, mm -hmm. Dean, Locke, and Lauren. Mm -hmm. And she wakes to their voices. And then oh. she decides to fight Cardas instead of just keeping him sealed. Ah, I because see. as long as he's sealed, she has to lay dormant forever. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So that's in, in her life gone. <laughs> exactly. So instead I of see, that, you know, her friends want her back. They're like, mm -hmm. no, you should come back. We can do this together. Mm -hmm. And so this is her. Had she woken? And not only that, but also beat Cardas. Wow. With her friends, and of course, uh, you know, Idea was the princess of mm -hmm. Palmina. I see. So after beating Cardes, she would have rebuilt her nation and ruled mm -hmm. over her nation as you know the wonderful princess that she is, That's alongside her friends. That explains the crown. And right. Uh, yeah, she's kind of uh, wearing more of a dress rather than armor in mm -hmm. this instance. I mean, I to be honest with you, I love Idea. She's one of my favorite. You know, she's been in my party since like forever not as of late just because you know she didn't have an omni evolution and now she does but you know she she has less and less clothes <laughs> as time no, goes by well, well it's still elegant i think <laughs> yes but you know it is she her whole lore even is built around her armor uh, yeah. and you know lavdrania like is like half of like who she is basically mm. and so it's just really interesting to see this take where she kind of basically doesn't need to rely on Lavdrania uh, as right, much right. anymore because now that the threat of Cardes is gone mm -hmm. she can just rule Focus as the princess that she was meant to rule as so I mean she she wow. looks beautiful <laughs> I don't know the whole thing about the veil uh -huh. the veil kind of looks like she's gonna go get married <laughs> But it's it's to whom I wonder. It's, it's difficult editing stuff. Right, right, you don't, right. <laughs> don't you think so? Right, but she she looks great. Yeah. What do you think, Risky? Yeah, I think I think it's just a proof that Elim really listened to mm -hmm. the fan base because yep. yeah, a lot of our players are like actually asking for this. And I would too. Eventually, <laughs> I would too because did it. she deserves yeah. it. She more than yeah. deserves it. She earned her place in Brave Frontier lore a right. long time ago. So it's about time. Welcome to the mm. Omni family. Omni Idea. family. <laughs> and of course, with the Dia comes yeah. her uh, unofficial Come sweetheart, Law. Unofficial sweetheart. Law has the hugest crush on the Dia. <laughs> ah, okay, I see. <laughs> yes, I don't. I think Dia. She really appreciates Law. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very unclear whether she actually has romantic feelings for Locke, mm. um, but she has okay. always treated him very nicely and he has always treated her like she is a goddess. Mm -hmm. And he gets immediately offended by anybody who's rude to her, <laughs> aka Dean. <laughs> this sounds like a, you know, the fanboy. Yeah, kind he's of a things. super <laughs> fanboy. He's a super fanboy and he's super protective of ah, Idea. I see. Um, he's one of the people who, when Idea falls into her slumber after mm -hmm. stealing Cardes, he comes in and he's like, no, you have to wake up. You have to wake up. And it was actually Idea's waking that made Locke more powerful mm. and allowed him to evolve 
into his next stage, into I his seventh star. And so this loch right here comes after having defeat Cardas. Mm -hmm. So they defeat Cardas, they get rid of the threat of Cardas, and then he just basically helps Idia rebuild the nation of right, right. Palmina. And, you know, if there are any other threats in the future, mm -hmm. as one of her most, like, loyal and trusted guardians, for example, like, if Zebra came back and mm -hmm. he was like, how dare you kill my master, I'm going to, like, <laughs> murder you all, then Locke would be like, I don't think so. And they just put, like, a huge arrow through his head. <laughs> this is this lock right here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. protective. And I, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's a huge change from his 7th star. Right, the 7th right. star was very, very busy. Mm. Um, here, the bow is like an unnatural size. It's like bigger than him. Wait, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. I yeah. know <laughs> this <laughs> is bigger than him. That's okay. just a testament to his new strength. Like he yep. can now wield a bow that's even bigger than his own mm -hmm. body. That's crazy. And not only that, but he's got like three arrows just floating at the ready. So it's gonna be <laughs> one of those like cool movies where he just kind of takes all the yeah. three arrows at the same time, just kind of shoots them all. And so. I don't know how they are going to like, you know, refill this arrow because mm -hmm. it's... Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't anyway. know. I mean, he must, you know, he's pretty high up there in mm. like Adia's, you know, chain in command. So, right, like, right. chain of command. So, I'm sure he would have, like, you know, people yeah. filling, filling his arrows up <laughs> for him. You know, he can find a guy for that. It's fun. We are trying to analyze uh, right, the logic right. of yeah. this design, but yeah. anyway. I got it. I got it. Don't you worry about it. But yeah, this is Locke right. with Adia, both Omni. Mm -hmm. Very welcome addition to True. the team. Definitely. All okay. Right. And now it's time to move on to the Brave Exclusives. And the Brave Exclusives we're going to do into mm -hmm. two parts today. We're going to start with the content for the New, new year. year. New Year related stuff. So here we just want to make sure that you guys are aware that we're going into the New Year very strong. Mm -hmm. We have more content coming. We have more events coming to keep everybody busy, to keep everybody happy. Right. So no worries about that. Mm -hmm. And some of the events and content that are coming your way, more Vortex Arena. Mm -hmm. More so. on that a little bit later. Uh, more Frontier Hunter. So if you haven't gotten to uh, Hunter rank 100 by now, mm -hmm. make sure that you're doing those and getting as high rank, like as high in the scoreboard as possible so you can get as many right, ranks as right. you can. I, after this particular Hunter rank, will be right. rank 100, <laughs> so I'm very proud of myself. Um, Guild Raid, more uh -huh. Guild Raid. Mm -hmm. Frontier Rift, which is of course one of our newest additions, right, right. function-wise, to mm -hmm. Brave Frontier Global. Vortex Dungeons, more dungeons. Yep. Just coming, in general. Coming yeah. like with the seasonal event and mm -hmm. collaborations right. as well. Yes, mm -hmm. because we always like to celebrate like every different season right, that comes right. around. Yep. You know, we have special units and stuff like that that we have to celebrate. So, mm -hmm. let's see. Um, where was I? More collaborations. Yeah. You know, I mean, like our licensing team has been working really, really hard on this, like trying to to get the best IP. So, you know, do stick around. Right. <laughs> and I think people are still a little bit sour about the fact that uh, we have done right. surveys on what, mm. you know, our users want to see in right, the game right. before and we haven't been able to deliver mm -hmm. because, you know, they want some really high end stuff that we all love, you know, like a Dragon right, Ball right. Z collaboration would be amazing and very good. But it is so difficult to get that kind of approval from such like a huge brand to be in a game you know if if our reach maybe was a little bit higher it would make <laughs> things like uh, easier but like yeah we we try we really do try let's just say a lot of conditions uh, like factor are like a lot of red tape yeah. <laughs> a lot of red tape to cut through so you mm. know we might not be able to deliver on like super crazy like popular brands but you may be surprised as well yep because you, see, you don't did, know what's coming we did pull fairy tale yes fairy tale <laughs> is extremely extremely well received yeah. everybody was in it for fairy tale so i'm i'm, I'm having high hopes for the next mm. collaborations coming they're trying our best <laughs> yes and we'll also have new um, units and more boss skills to come yep so and then quality of life and mm -hmm. rewards as well coming. Player votes for quality of life features. So I'm guessing that means we're taking all of the feedback that you guys are right, giving right. us and trying to input that in the game so that you guys can have an easier time playing the actual mm -hmm. game, right? And then we'll have more rewards, including exclusive global unit spheres and L gifts. You know, that's a given with any event that right. we do. And giveaways, including wallpapers and alternate art. 
which is always welcome. Yep. I have seen lots of people already with the <laughs> Xi'an alternate art. For some reason, I don't have it. Uh, you forgot to claim it. <laughs> no. No, yeah, I would be, have. It should have been given to everyone, actually. Yeah. 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 So what? What? What happened? I'm gonna. Okay, I'm getting my <laughs> Xi'an alternate art. I don't care what it takes. You can always I'm talk to the developer. Because like, I, I got my <laughs> Zell Knight one for sure. But I've been like playing, especially like Frontier right, right. Hunter recently, mm -hmm. and all the Xi'ans are like, you know, like yeah, a new shirtless Xi'an. And I'm like, my Xi'an is not shirtless. What happened? So I, I need to find what, uh, what, what, what happened with that. But yeah, oh, lots yeah. of exciting stuff mm -hmm. coming for 2018. I mean, I mean, yeah. All in all, uh, you know, there has been a little bit un so-called unrest mm -hmm. among the players that mm -hmm. like, oh, what what's happening with Brave Frontier mm -hmm. globally? You know, because we know that mm, the Japan version has been like slowing down. Mm -hmm. They are uh, officially stopping the the story and such. But you know, the team wanted to show this slide particularly to address this unrest. Mm -hmm. So rest assured that we are going to provide contents for the 2018 um, as what you can see here uh, some of them are very um, global exclusive uh, feature which they uh, our team are working really hard to make a distinction between uh, our version and the other version as right well. so do stick around uh, you know we have a lot more surprises for you guys uh, especially for um, like what Shadi said, every seasonal, on uh, every like um, seasonal celebration, mm -hmm. um, a special uh, occasion, we will be going to release like a new uh, Frontier uh, Reef, Vortex Dungeon, and we are even having like you know giveaway like wallpapers. Uh, the right. team are very excited to like plan the wallpaper wallpapers for like uh, various occasion like right. Valentine's. It's uh, re Easter they're really and, adorable. Yeah. They're yeah. really really cute. And it's really like, you know, we are, we are giving a lot of uh, space for our artist team, our designer team to be creative and provide all the contents for you guys. So don't worry too much about 2018, Brave Frontier Global are still going strong. We're good, yeah. we're good. Everybody's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, all with right. that said, we'll keep moving on to the mm -hmm. uh, Vortex Arena preview, if I'm yep. looking at this correctly. Yes, mm -hmm. we have the long-awaited Dark... Mm -hmm. Element Vortex Arena, right, which right. is going to be called the Tenebrous Showdown, right? So this is going to have more rewards, including spheres. You know, mm -hmm. at rank one to one thousand, if you manage to get that high, you'll get you'll get the Umbra Wing. Right, right. And then if you get below that, you'll get the less powerful uh, Nihil Wing or <laughs> Nihil wings. Wing. Excuse like my pronunciation. Zero. <laughs> yeah, but both are you know. Excellent spheres that you should mm -hmm. try to get if you can. You know, right. the event bazaar, you can always collect the dual tokens so that you can exchange them for Omni Plus boost mm -hmm. item materials. And then, you know, the items will also be like refreshed because every Vortex Arena that we have, you know, we need a new cycle of materials for people Correct. to claim. Yep. So. Yeah, so really excited about this one and the yep. unit to come with it yeah, as well. Which is the one that we uh, preview on the last BNC. Correct. And uh, yeah, as usual, this will be happening uh, early January. So like, you know, like maybe right after the new year. Mm -hmm. So do prepare your uh, units, especially dark units. Since yes, make sure you have them ready. End of the year. <laughs> make sure you're showing yeah. love to your dark units. All right. So. Okay, moving on to Brave Exclusives of the new year. We have a new unit. Her name is Personet, and mm -hmm. she is part of the whole like Egyptian theme uh, the theme type up, unit. Called Uprising. Bench, yes, yeah. the Uprising. So Rahotep and Nefret mm -hmm. is uh, part of the They're Uprising. They're part of the bench same uh, well. storyline. Yep. Right? Correct. Yes. And Personet is ha happens to be a child prodigy. She's mm -hmm. super, super smart. Uh, but she kind of had to bug her parents into allowing her to actually study at the right, temple right. with the priests. And in the temple, she apparently met a very, very uh, special lady. Priestess. Yeah, very, very kind special priestess. priestess. Mm. Yeah, so... Sounds, sounds familiar. Yeah, so it, it should start connecting <laughs> from yeah. there. And then, you know, together they go on an adventure. <laughs> she, she, looks, she looks like, um, you know, the, uh, smart bread i will say mm -hmm. like uh she's a bit like uncontrollable but mm -hmm. she's actually very genius kind yes. of like it but you can tell like mm. by the poses that she's doing that mm. she's actually like very young 
So it's yeah. just one of those people <laughs> who happens to have all of this intellect, but is mm. trapped in this tiny little immature <laughs> body. So you know, I wouldn't well, be surprised well, well. <laughs> if her like attitude wasn't the best. Mm. But there's no denying that she mm. is super smart. So right. she looks great. I really, yeah. really it's, like, it's especially really nice her um, her lower evolution one. I think the design is very, very cute. I really enjoy it. The only, however, a little bit more ma material. Yeah, thing? I, I'm not sure. Maybe yes. we have to check the uh, the Omni lore. Again. Yeah, I don't know the Omni <laughs> lore for a person yeah. just yet. So that it might yet. have involved some growing up. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it certainly does look like it. But her lower uh, evolution does look very um, charming. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right, so All moving, right, on moving on to, to another next. New Year yeah. unit, we have Kawab. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, or Kawab. That's, that should be fine. Kawab. Okay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> All right, and Kawab is actually mm -hmm. a very interesting mix, mix of because the... his father happens to be a crocodile spirit. And yeah. his mother is it's a, a human. Mortal human. Yes, and so he kind of lived under the God King's rule, but he was abused by the nobility. And it wasn't until much later on that he kind of felt this like strange power growing within him. Mm -hmm. And when he realized what was going on, there was this like huge like war yeah. crocodile standing <laughs> in front of him, and it was his father. I think this is more like a, you know like a, he's he's not from the king or from the uh, no nobility mm -hmm. family, right? In, in he a was sense. abused yeah. by the nobility. Yeah, he's yeah. he's one of like the what do you call it, laymen people. Yeah. yeah. One but of then the servants, I guess. With a very special power. Right. So on the next slide, we can actually see his Omni evolution. Yes, Whoa. which is, <laughs> there's a lot going on. It's like, this is one of, well, we said it a lot of time, but probably mm -hmm. beside Eriki, mm -hmm. he's one of the biggest sprite. Oh, yeah? <laughs> in the game. Oh, wow. That says you a lot the, about it. You can see the crocodile there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, this is a very interesting mm -hmm. design, I mm -hmm. think. Any character that is like riding atop yep. like anything else mm -hmm. it's it's really interesting to see because we've had so many things we had like what like tigers and owls Dragon, and Aisha. like dragons <laughs> and now we have a crocodile to yeah. boot and not just like any crocodile this is like a fierce looking crocodile yeah, it's so super I'm scared looking. for my life I'm scared <laughs> for my life yeah but in any case this two new year unit they will be coming uh, basically it's part of the uprising batch and mm -hmm. as recently we did actually announce uh, there will be like um, you know, uh, units that um, be part of uh, event. Mm -hmm. So some of the unit will be uh, uh, released mm -hmm. in the summon mm -hmm. uh, more regularly. Okay. Uh, well, some of the units, uh, such as the collaboration, uh, that is uh, most of them are one-time thing because we we depend on, on the licensing right. issue. We don't really, we are not really able to like release it maybe multiple times depending right. on the licensing issue. But. Mm -hmm. uh, Uprising Batch is part of the global exclusive, let's say. Uh, sim simply, it's part of the global exclusive. So um, uh, our team will be announcing on like um, how this unit will be released in the summon uh, in the rare uh, in the in the summon gate mm -hmm. uh, in in the near future. So do look forward for the announcement as well. Right. Yeah. yeah well, I'm excited mm -hmm. for all of the new content, but we still have more brave exclusives right. to come. So stick around. All right, moving on to the next brief exclusive, we are having the new Frontier Rift called nice. Bre uh, Breaching the Nebula. Mm. Oh, so this is actually part of the continuation of the Rock uh, series. Okay. And um, as we mentioned before, uh, Frontier Rift will be having two kind of like uh, variants. The first variant is the one for Omni Plus only um, uh, unit. Okay. The second variants are more like you know uh, more accessible version without restriction. So usually uh, for the story based um, anything that focus on the story and uh, kind of like uh, the one that we are uh, usually we are giving a special reward for right. that. We are going to have uh, of course the Omni Plus limitation to make it more like challenging and interesting. Mm. But we are also um, opening it um, to those like. Um, special uh, the one without restriction for example like during a collaboration or maybe during a special event we mm. will be coming out with a uh, frontier reef mm. wheel like you know less restriction everyone can enjoy it okay yeah cool. so um breaching the nebula will be the omni plus only content and uh for this uh, frontier reef we are players are encouraged to use um, light earth and water squads okay 
We can also see uh, bosses such as uh, Luina, Zael, Goldfork, and Jirayan, the mm -hmm. one from uh, our raid battle. Right. Mm. You can get uh, Rift tokens here to exchange for Tridon in the bazaar, and oh. by this time of the video release, Tridon's uh, specification uh, should have been uh, really? released oh, yeah, okay. by the team. So, uh, in case any of you are wondering, please check the forum or our Facebook notes for the, right. uh, for the I full I mean, I think specs, a lot yeah. of people have been yes. wondering ever since we talked about like... You know, yeah, I mean, the team, the <laughs> team was... Uh, well, I will address it later in the, in the question and answer. Oh, okay. We'll but, get to that then. Yeah, there is a reason why the team withheld uh, uh, the Trident spec okay. specification. Yeah. So, yeah, let's move on to the special reward for mm -hmm. this Frontier Rift, which is the Milestone Reward Unit which is Zelion. Oh, Zelion. Sounds familiar? Yes. So who is Zelion, Shelly? Well, <laughs> I am honestly kind of confused <laughs> because yeah. the, the whole storyline surrounding mm -hmm. him is already like really confusing enough, you know? <laughs> right, uh, right. His mom, Adriesta, is, mm -hmm. you know, a witch hunter, but she died giving birth to him or after giving birth to him. It's, it's really kind of like, yeah. in her mind, it's fuzzy. And then mm -hmm. she comes back to life. And then all she can do is wonder, number one, how did I come back to life? Because I'm pretty <laughs> sure I was dead. And number two, what happened to my son? Like, did he survive? Is, is he alive? Is he out there somewhere? And little does she know mm -hmm. that, you know, Zellion has become this monster. Monstrous, <laughs> yeah. Like a horrible... Oh, yeah. Like, uh, I don't know if you can even call sure. him a human being, but yeah. just, he's... He's super evil, yeah. I see. <laughs> yeah, he's just a really bad dude, yeah. okay? And mm -hmm. so, I mean, as a mother, that must be, like, heart, Hard. like, crushing. Like, you, you know, the son that you've yeah. been waiting to meet, like, your whole entire existence is just, like, really terrible guy. I mean, he became <laughs> so powerful that even yeah. the rogs that were, like trying to control him, mm. eventually lost Fail. control over him and <laughs> yeah. they were just like, we can't even use this guy anymore. So I think his appearance speaks a lot to his character. He looks very, very dominant mm. um, at all very times. Uh, he, I mean, I don't even have to know much about his story to just tell that he has kind of like a god complex. Like, <laughs> he may he not want, be like an actual god, but yeah. he definitely considers himself to right, be like right. right up there. So you remember the pose in the Grand Quest? He's sitting on a throne with all the snakes yes. behind yeah. him, and it's like yeah. I remember the yeah. seeing the design for him as the boss of that particular like right. you know quest, and he's definitely very fond of himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I think I think we can know more of his story um, later on in the frontier of itself. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know, do play the content. Yes, <laughs> next, I mean, play the month. content so you can get and, Zellion, and then right. once you get Zellion, yep. you can read a little bit more into his story, and hopefully you have addresses so that you can like, you know, link everything together. But I mean, he looks badass, and we don't get that many yep. villains made into units, yep. so that's right, very right. interesting as well. So it's it's nice to have a chance to. Have your pick of the good guy or the bad guy. Right. So just just to, to make it clear that uh, you know, this is a bit different than Tridon uh -huh. because um, like Tridon or any any Rift token mm -hmm. is available permanently for all event across across uh, multiple Frontier Rift. Oh, okay. So you can do um, you know gather the, the Frontier uh, sorry the Rift token like at any time. Yeah, anytime. Okay. And you can eventually be able to uh, redeem it, right. uh, Tridon. Right. But Zelion is part of the milestone reward. Uh, yeah, meaning that uh -huh. you have to perform pretty well on this particular uh, Frontier Rift. Uh -huh. So again, uh, you know, um, we encourage everyone to, uh, if you want to get Zellion as a unit, do Omni Plus <laughs> your unit. Yes. Do Omni Plus your yes. unit. Yes, and make sure you're using, uh, you are what was it? Mm. The Light Earth and mm. Water squads as yep. recommended. So. Right, and get the, uh, what do you call it? Get uh, milestone uh, points. Yes. A good milestone points to mm -hmm. get him. All right. All right, well, Very good exciting. luck to you guys getting <laughs> Zellion, then. Uh, moving on to the next one. Mm -hmm. hmm. We have a new yeah. unit, another, uh, lots of new units yep. today. We have Svalin here. Svalin, Svalin is an ancient. What is an ancient, Risky? Well, an ancient is a being of a very immense power that mm -hmm. rose up against the creator. But, mm -hmm. you know, uh, they were ultimately defeated by by those creator mm -hmm. and as a result 
their souls turn a uh, torn into two. Um, that being a Deva and Morokai. Oh, is that familiar to you guys? Snap. What is this Origin about? Origin story right there. Yeah. Well, Origin story. Oh, well, let's just say it's not something something starting with E. Uh-huh. It's not okay. By the way, Anorot origin, uh -huh. but it is related to Anorot okay. because at that time, uh, according to the uh, the lore, uh, the game designers, the lore creator, mm -hmm. um, at that time, at her time, it's a she way, mm -hmm. At her time, the Anorot world didn't exist. Okay. Yeah. So once uh, the conflict uh, happens between between her be uh, kind of her race mm -hmm. and the creators, um, you know, uh, Deva and Morokai are crea were created. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Um, this is a very interesting unit. Yeah. I would say the origin of Anoroth. For sure, for sure. And I think a lot of people are yeah. very, very fond of the mm -hmm. Anoroth series and mm -hmm. they want more yep. content for that particular exactly. one. So even if it's not directly the Anoroth series, mm -hmm. just the fact that it's tied into it and it gives you a little bit of perspective as yep. to where the Anoroth characters mm -hmm. like stem from. Right, That's right. really, really cool. I mean, it's it's also part of the request that I mean, like our, our users are asking, can mm -hmm. you extend the story of Enderot? Right. Can you extend the story of Galardon? Mm -hmm. And what uh, our team were working on was like, oh, let's uh, explore it further from right. the the past or from mm -hmm. even the future of uh, the current timeline. So what happened here is that uh, we are creating a new unit uh, that is, uh, you know, part of the origin of the Enderot story, mm -hmm. and this new unit. Is actually will be available in the brief, uh, you know, in the brief uh, insignia tokens exchange. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is part of our, uh, as you guys know, the insignia brief insignia is something that we released uh, a few months ago. Yeah, quite recent. Yes, recently, mm -hmm. uh, to reward our users for doing gacha. Right. Well, doing summon. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, um, we 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 want to make sure that uh, all of your summons are not you know uh, wasted, even if you get an. an an, an existing unit, the one mm -hmm. that you already have, uh, you can still get the points, and when you uh, gather all the points, you eventually will be able to uh, exchange for this unit. Awesome! Yeah, so, uh, more details on how many uh, points and the release date of this unit uh, will be uh, revealed later on. Cool. Uh, but do look forward for somewhere in January for the updates on this. And I'm excited uh, for that one. Yep, moving mm -hmm. on to the next series. Oh, <laughs> we got some new Vortex Arena units. Correct. We don't have the Lost Wings anymore. Mm, anymore, but as mentioned, I mean, like as one of the player questions uh, in the last BNC, mm -hmm. we were we will continue with the new Vortex Arena mm -hmm. uh, series. Mm -hmm. And the first unit that we are having here is the fire unit called Yen and Yuan. Yeah. Yen and Yuan. Yeah. Okay. Say that three times. I'm, I'm trying Yen to say yen. it in the proper uh, no, Ch Chinese. Oh, okay. Chinese way, well, which is yen that's, yuan. that's your expertise. <laughs> I don't have any of that. So. But in any way, uh, in any case, uh, the new series mm -hmm. is based on the uh, uh, world of human and magical beasts. Mm, and very um, interesting. there is uh, there there is magic that uh, you know uh, people are exploring. That able to uh, this magic is actually able to fuse weapons oh. together the with those beasts. Okay. So as you can see in the design of her, mm -hmm. um, there is this uh, chibi dragon, <laughs> very He's cute. Adorable. Chibi dragon. I mean, I don't know if it's a he or a she, but yeah. it's adorable. Let's just say that. Yeah. So uh, Yuan is the dragon, by the mm -hmm. way. Uh, the dragon itself and the weapon, her weapon, mm -hmm. can actually fuse and an attack. Attack. Awesome. And do a very so awesome. massive damage. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Great. So you can, you guys can see it in the animation. We have, I've seen the animation. It was like really great. So, well, this series <laughs> will revolve around you know having a special um, magical beast mm -hmm. accompanying the character. So everybody comes character. with a buddy mm -hmm. and the weapon. So it's gonna be very exciting to see what are the next uh, you know series weapon and. The beast. Yeah, because I mean, if you think them. about it, and they all, you know, mm -hmm. it's one per element. Right. Then all of the beasts not only have to fit the element, but the weapons also have to be. Correct. You know, they, they everything has to match, and yep, you're having exactly. to match three things at the same time. Right, you're right. having to match the unit to the that particular element, element, mm -hmm. uh, the weapon to the particular element, and, and the also the little buddy to yeah. the to the particular element. So it it's doesn't... it's a lot of work. No, that the beast. Uh, are not always 
little body. It well, can well, be some. I'm, I'm big, sure yeah. like they can be huge, but I'm just saying like you know your body. Yeah, like, your body. That's, your partner. That's, that's yeah. your body. So. Yeah. In a way. Uh, so what unify these uh, people? Mm -hmm. They are actually are under the same school. Oh, okay. Yeah. The the school actually study the beast and the uh, magic itself, and the students are having uh, kind of like pact or mm -hmm. contract with mm -hmm. the beast. Oh, okay. So they are like. Uh, well, I would say not maybe not lifetime partner, but uh -huh. like you know almost lifetime partner right. for them. Okay, yep. well, that's very interesting. And it? yeah, and the Vortex Arena uh, series, uh, we are going to explore uh, six gifted students right. that One are for each other, yeah, right. yeah. that are saving the world. Okay. Typical. Of course, yeah. you know. But what would be Brave Frontier without trying to save yeah. the world? <laughs> that's the whole point of Brave Frontier. You have to save the world. <laughs> exactly. You have to have some objectives, right? <laughs> exactly. Well, I really love her design. I think mm -hmm. everything looks amazing. She gives me all the Chun Li vibes. I love it. Yeah. I love her dress. I love the little dragon. The all the flames going everywhere. <laughs> the cannon. All of it. She looks amazing. So I can't wait it's to really see amazing. the other yeah. five mm -hmm. students. students that are part of this badge. It's going to be really exciting. True. Yep. So look forward for the next Vortex Arena mm -hmm. in January. Well. Technically, we still have the the Dark Vortex Arena in January, so right. this might be end of January or February. So this will be like February, after maybe. that, yeah. after we are done with the Lost Waves, mm -hmm. right? All right, well. All right, so that's all the brief exclusive. What do you think, Shelly? I am very excited for 2018. Uh, very, very exciting. Yes. No, we are not stopping yet. No, no, no we we're are not, not stopping, stopping here. Whatever happened outside. Everything. Brave Frontier Global keep going. is as much as we as we can possibly have it yep. go. Mm -hmm. We'll keep we putting going. our best effort, mm -hmm. you know, best foot forward, and just keep trying to bring you everything that you guys hope for. All right, let's move on to the Q and A session. All right, it's time for the brave answers, mm -hmm. where you guys ask the questions and risky answers them for you. So, right. number one here, we're just going straight <laughs> into it. Okay. Now that Brave Frontier story has ended, what are the next items for Global? Well, we actually have been answering this in the very, I think, the third slide earlier. I mean, yeah. the whole show yeah, has been about show. answering yeah. <laughs> this particular question. But. Yeah. Well, in, in, I mean, like uh, to summarize, uh, we will be looking into extending the the lore for Enroth and Galadron, mm -hmm. especially through Frontier Rift, because Frontier Rift is the one that uh, you know uh, meant to be the the new way for us to deliver the story. Mm -hmm. um, and not just that, we are our team are also thinking about. Um, Planning for a new global story mm. with a new series as well. Uh, for the wow. exact timeline for that, um, we are not having an exact date yet. Okay. So uh, do look forward for the upcoming BNCs. Of course, we will be updating you guys like you know immediately. Right. As soon as we know, you'll know. But, but there is um, this plan like uh, on our uh, yearly. Exciting. Yeah. So. Do we look forward for it? All right. So mm -hmm. moving on to number two, legacy units are usually not available in the summon gate because we usually have them from like Alpha's batch or Kulyuk's batch. Mm -hmm. So in terms of skills, the new limited edition units are usually better than these units. Any plans to implement these units in the exchange hall or maybe a monthly unit of choice of legacy units? So I'm guessing by legacy units they mean like. You know, like three stars anything, like India yeah. or three something like that that are very star. old. Like, I myself don't have a lock. Mm -hmm. And trying to summon a lock, like, at yeah. this point in the <laughs> game is, hard. like, next to impossible. So if you're trying to collect, mm -hmm. like, those really old units, if right, you started right. the game a little bit later, it's really hard to mm -hmm. do that. Well, for... <laughs> I mean, the team is already aware of this um, so-called problem. It's, it's mm -hmm. more of, like, a, how we organize our summon gates, especially for these uh, lower uh, level units, mm -hmm. uh, lower rarity units. Mm -hmm. Um, we are occasionally releasing the legacy units in gates with reduced gem cost, for example, like the discount uh, mm -hmm. one gem, two gems, mm -hmm. uh, and up to three gems. Uh, we are also going to review uh, additional ways to for players to obtain their favorite uh, legacy units. So okay. do stick around on this. Um, as for like, um, uh, we, we are aware like, you know, when, when we release this kind of like uh, new Omni update, mm -hmm. it's going to be very hard if you only rely on like occasional event uh, of this uh, legacy gates. Mm -hmm. So probably um, the direction will be like trying to pair it together with a release of your Omni unit or right. maybe having a special, oh okay, this uh, particular unit uh, 
are a featured unit for this uh, this month mm. for the legacy unit. Mm. So we are going to like open a special, uh, maybe discounted summon mm. gate or maybe a special like a uh, low price summon gate for mm. it. So yeah, do uh, do look forward for uh, the okay. special event for this. That is also <laughs> yeah. very exciting. All right, so number three, mm -hmm. last one. When do you plan to release the details of Omni Drydon? We feel like we're doing Frontier Rift for yeah. nothing because we do not know if it's <laughs> worth it to invest in a Frontier or not. A Frontier Rift or not. Yeah, again, by this, uh, the release of this video, we should have the Omni Trident uh, specification being mm -hmm. released on the forum or the Facebook notes. Um, so in case anything happened, well, I can be the one <laughs> to be, to be seen, I guess. <laughs> no, 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 but, but yeah, seriously, we, we should have uh, released it by the time of this video release. Mm -hmm. The reason why uh, the team was withholding this is because of, uh, at that time, you know, we are still trying to look at uh, what is the latest meta uh -huh. in, in, the, in the Japan version. We uh -huh. want to make sure that the Trident unit um, do, you know, last long in, in the game mm -hmm. meta because uh, Things are changing a little bit with, uh, you know, Free Frontier Japan version mm -hmm. slowing, slowing down, down. and mm -hmm. uh, well, we can say the the rare unit uh, from Japan are not not uh, uh, the, the the summon unit from Japan are not uh, being released anymore. So uh, we want to make sure that we are making the unit that fit the recent meta and can last maybe for uh, for a while right. instead of like you know get outdated immediately right so yeah we are sorry for that because the timing are pretty bad for this release but moving forward mm -hmm. i think it should be uh much much better for us because we have uh, control over the meta so we can actually uh be able to release the unit on hopefully on time okay well there you have it the yeah. team is just trying to make sure that yeah. your you know so-called investment as yep. you put it is worth yep. your time so they're <laughs> just going above and beyond making sure that Triton is as usable as mm -hmm. possible for exactly. the longest time as possible. All right. right? Okay, now we're Ooh. moving on to the Summoner's Corner. Mm -hmm. And we have three that right, right. I think Risky picked three out marks. this time. <laughs> <laughs> and the first one is from Ahmad Mutakin. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ahmad says, yeah, regarding Brave Frontier motto, a Summoner's Adventure is never over. Is there any plan to expand Brave Frontier Global Summoner story? To put it simply, I ask about the Summoner fourth arc. I think they mean the right. third arc. Yeah, the third arc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I think the fourth arc is like the continuation of the third arc. Oh, That's what he's trying to say. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. That makes, that makes yeah. more sense. I hope getting this replied. I, I guess they meant I hope I get a reply to this. But okay. Well, um, yeah. For, first thing. Um, I think this has been asked so many times about mm -hmm. like extending the uh, summoners content. Right. Firstly, I think we did discuss that that summoners content is logistically a nightmare right. <laughs> to extend. Yes. Because this of has the been discussed many yeah, times. The variation. However, um, we it's not that uh, we are totally ruling this out from mm -hmm. the possibility, but uh, for now, what we are focusing on are more on the. Um, expanding our like uh, old stories like mm. Galardon and right. um, uh, Anoros series uh -huh. mm. through Frontier Rift, through the uh, Vortex events and such. Mm. Um, I couldn't guarantee anything about the next summoner content but um, we'll see, we probably will discuss it again with the team. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not entirely impossible, it's just that that particular function requires yeah. so much work and we already have so much other work piled up yeah. that we have to do. Okay, yeah, so. like, you know, um, let's just take it as this way. We we want to appeal to much more broader audience mm -hmm. as well. Like, so, uh, some of the contents are, are great, like, especially for the high-level players. Of course, of course, mm -hmm. very challenging. But uh, when we are focusing too much on one side, uh, the rest of our players, the low-level players, the our like uh, you know the um, newer players, the, the newer the players are mm -hmm. going to like you know uh, lose. What well, they I can't say? benefit. Yeah, they can benefit from, from that from content that much because immediately, yeah. it will take mm -hmm. them so uh, so much longer to catch yep. up yep. to exactly. everybody else. Yeah. And so that content that can apply to like everyone takes mm -hmm. priority just because many more people yep. get to enjoy it together, rather than you mm -hmm. know 
using the same amount of time to only focus, focus on, on that, a smaller yeah. group of yeah. people. It's, it's not that we don't appreciate our, you know, veteran players. That's right, right, not right. the case at all. But yeah. that is why other functions have been implemented. Yeah, for example, such Frontier, as, like, Rift. Frontier Rift. Yeah, Frontier exactly. Rift is targeted like, you know, Omni Plus is targeted towards the high level and veteran level players. So, right. yeah, we want yes. to keep a balance on that. Right. Yeah. And also the summoners arc, the story itself is made by you know, Alim yeah. is the Japanese story. <laughs> I don't know tricky. that we have leave to actually alter any of right. that legacy you, you stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. So um, could the summer set off on a new adventure somewhere totally different from hmm. the legacy story? That's right. that's quite another deal entirely. But again, exactly. it would require a lot of work. So uh, not saying no, but definitely not saying yes either. <laughs> yep. Time will tell. Time, Time will tell. Will tell. Okay, right. the next person to be featured is hey. Romaine Hall. Our best friend. Hi, Hello. <laughs> um, I don't know if I should should spoil this, but well, well you guys okay. can find who is Let's she. Let's just say that yeah. Rom is a very, very close friend yeah, of and ours. He's a big fan of uh, huge fan huge fans of, of the Brave Frontier Brave series, Global. especially of the you know Brave Frontier RPG, which is yep. the European version of yep, Brave yep. Frontier. And Rome says, huge fan here from the EU. Love your stuff as always. So happy to see that you won my EU babies. Yes, XO, I think XO. not just us, <laughs> our players like EU babies. Yes. Like Katalami, Arthur. I mean, Arthur. Yeah. I. <laughs> I have to thank all of my Arthur friends for allowing me to climb up the ladder in Frontier Hunter exactly. like <laughs> in just like three orbs. I'm just like already, you know, ranked like 17 something. Cheese, cheese 17, method. Yeah, so it's not cheesing. It's, 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 it's actually, it takes a lot of work mm. if you do it the way that I right, was right, right. Um, taught how to do it by my special friend mm -hmm. Yojiro. I don't know if you're watching this, but Phantom <laughs> Yojiro, shout out to you for teaching me how to get the most points on Frontier Hunter. Um, yeah, <laughs> so amazing units. Yeah. Of course, we love you Thank know you, the Great Frontier RPG yeah. units. Hopefully, we can have more of them in the game in the mm -hmm. future. That would be great. They have made their way to the Japanese version mm -hmm. of the game, which is also very exciting for Japanese players to have that, you know, exactly. not necessarily the global exclusive European. content, but European exclusive content. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just yeah. showing the love between yeah. all the it's, brave. It's friends. basically, you know, the between the version we are doing like kind of like exchange, mm -hmm. like uh, sharing of our unit and showing our uh, audience that mm -hmm. hey, this is the unit from the uh, the U uh, European version. Mm -hmm. This is the unit from the global version, and you know, people appreciate them. Like, they have a little bit different style. Uh, fitting like each of other versions mm. but i think in, in general like it's it's kind of like a good exchange program right right like definitely. collaboration program and we <laughs> learn from each other that yep. way as well so mm -hmm. it's beautiful it's beautiful so thank you for the lovely message bro thank you and now we're moving to the last one here gil or jill <laughs> paulo abracia uh -huh. or abracia depending on where you come from mm -hmm. uh can gumi make an official alchemist code channel well it's a little bit unrelated to brief Frontier I mean, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> Shelly it's, it's asked a me why. Shot. Why did you? Put I did this? have to ask him. Yeah. I was just like, why are we addressing this question? I mean, we did well, have the Alchemist collaboration in Berlin, yep, yep, so it's I not mean, totally like, off the window. Mm. And they're both Gumi games, mm. so you know the connection is there. It's just that you know this is the Brave News Channel. Yep, Brave so. News Channel promoting some Gumi games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But in any case, yeah. I mean, like, is this part of like? Uh, us as a like a, well, Gumi group, we want to like you know support the other game as right. well. So the Alchemist Code uh, channel they will be starting. Hopefully, mm -hmm. if anything goes well, you know if, if nothing everything. goes if everything goes <laughs> if nothing goes wrong. Sorry, <laughs> if nothing goes wrong, uh, we will they will be um, putting up the very first uh, question and answer uh, format of a video community mm -hmm. video on January. Okay. Yeah, so look for for it uh, our special. Alchemist team yes. member. Yes. Not, not, not Charlie anymore. No, it's, it's not it's, Charlie, it's everywhere. No. Yeah, I, well, because people have been asking yeah. me. A lot of people know that Alchemist is a Gumi game, yeah. and for some reason they expect me yeah. to be in the Alchemist videos as well. Um, my problem with that is that I have very, very little to do with the Alchemist project. So <laughs> I feel like if I was in the videos, I wouldn't be able to contribute anything. Right, right. You know, like for Brave Frontier, I'm, I'm the lore goddess. Lord that, that's what I do. <laughs> that's my like expertise. I've, I've played the game for like right, more right. than three years. I, I know it well. But Alchemist, I don't have as much mm. 
time <laughs> to play that particular so, game. So I'm very unfamiliar yeah. with it. I feel like, you know, I would just be sitting there like, Hi. <laughs> whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> but in any case, I mean, so, like, you know, do do support our yeah, Archimist so team, watch their video. Them. Give yes. a good comment, encouraging uh, messages, and yeah, I mean, like as usual, as as what you guys did with us, I mean, like give uh, like feedbacks, right. questions. Right. Yes, you, you helped us grow yeah. into what the show is today. Exactly. If we didn't have your feedback <laughs> and you know your suggestions and mm -hmm. the things that you have taught us, then we wouldn't have been able to right, make the right. show worthwhile. And we started off on a really awkward, <laughs> <rough> <laughs> playing. Yeah, it was. Let's call it an awkward phase. Yeah, yeah it, it was phase. it was a work in progress to yeah. to say the very least. So please show them, you know, mm -hmm. all your support, support, all your love. If you're playing Alchemist, hopefully you are enjoying it as well. All right. And yeah, yeah, supporting well, each other. Speaking about that, twenty eight months of mm -hmm. BNC. Mm -hmm. I think something's going to really change from next month onward. Oh okay. <laughs> well, since we're nearing into that, we're gonna. Well, yeah. Okay. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? All right. Well. Well, you can. Op okay. I guess. I'm speechless. <laughs> I guess we we might as well address the style. Yeah. Um, there are some changes that are happening. Uh, I, I want to say like office wise. Let's let's just yeah, say office wise. Office wise, office -wise yeah. that are going to prevent Rizki from being here uh, side by side yeah. every time. Yeah. yeah, you know, like physically here with me <laughs> every time that we have a BNC shoot, mm -hmm. and um, because of that, the format of the Brave News Channel might. is going to change. I, yeah. I think might, might change. is a little too come like. Compromising? <laughs> not, not compromising, but it, it's, it's too idealistic. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the format okay, is going change. to change. It will yeah. change. Um, but, but we will try to, whenever it is possible, mm -hmm. to have a shoot with both of us like right, right. physically here, then we will do our very best to make sure that mm -hmm. that happens. That's for when sure. not, we're still going to try to work on a format mm -hmm. that it's allows us to still communicate with each other because mm -hmm. our show here is more of a discussion rather than just presenting. Uh, right, information exactly. so we don't want to just make it so that like you know now risk you with the news and then <laughs> I disappear and then risk you says a bunch of stuff and then you yeah. know so we like to discuss things mm. and then put our own like input into mm -hmm. the new content that is coming right, right. so we're gonna try to go with a format that allows us to do that communicate. so, so don't be surprised if some minor changes happen yeah I mean <laughs> it's it's gonna be different yeah. but again we have been able to evolve into what the show is now thanks mm. to you guys so we are hoping that with you know the new changes that are coming that you will still show your support if you have any yep. suggestions on how to make it better please yeah, please say means. something yeah. you know if the quality of the sound is not working out or if you can't really see us very well because of the layout or maybe like things are looking too bleak because we're used to like really <laughs> colorful like drops right, like right. backgrounds and stuff like that anything at all mm -hmm. please let us know so that we can improve on that and make sure that we keep delivering you know the, the same experience to yeah. you every time yeah but most importantly i mean the reason why we are still even go with this uh, you know go this further because mm. we want to deliver the information that's what the right, most right, important right. thing yes like the bnc itself what our players are waiting especially when you know when 2018 i'll say it's a it's a global the year of global version mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Man, so what did I say? <laughs> more, well, more and more yeah, of the content in yeah. 2018 is so actually going to be BNC very, is, very exclusive. Yeah, very, very exclusive so and BNC is going to be very important. Exactly. Yeah. For us to be able to deliver you this information because you won't be mm. able to just guess from the Japanese version what's coming exactly. anymore. You need right. this information, right? So we're going to keep doing our best to make sure that yeah. you, you get it and that you get it in a format that you enjoy. And hopefully we can have, you know, all of your support and We'll see how yep. things work out. But I, I have faith in us. We're yep. going to be fine. We, we are going to yeah. try our best. We're gonna Summoners our adventure is never over. Never exactly. over. It's never over. <laughs> all so right. we're going to catch you next time. Next time. Stay see tuned you. for all the news. Mm -hmm. And see you then. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>